joined now by Roman Carlin. Roman, a fantastic win. What a hard fought win there against Donegal. Absolutely hard fought. Like, Donegal great credit for, I suppose, the, the system they brought to the game. Torturous as it is to play against. Uh, you know, definitely it was going to our minds with a few minutes to go that it just may not have been our day. But we do understand that we have 37 warriors on the panel and, and by God they all come up to us in the last few minutes actually you know it really opened up but it, patience is a virtue and uh, just after you're blown away by, by the performance in the last few minutes the discipline the courage it was just fantastic Cavan dominated the first half and probably should have been further ahead than more wides in the first half than Donegal but Donegal their game plan was to get in at half time close and in the second half they pushed on they really had a good game plan there today for Cavan they did I'm sure you know the Donegal people will understand and, and, and I suppose many of the players thought when they went to the points up that, that, that you know, should have could have been enough but, um, yeah you'd have to hand a good enough credit to us as opposed to our kind of defensive system as such like, you know, to, Incredibly harshly dealt with in getting a black card. I would love to see it again. Uh, a major, major influence on the game. And he's our warrior, he's our leader, one of. Uh, my heart went out to him. Uh, but, you know, looking back on the game, I suppose we, we just have to dissect it later on when the emotion is settled because it's a bit of a hodgepodge at the moment. One thing you'll be looking at is the dominance that Dummy Call had in the second half. For 25 minutes of that second half, Donegal really gave the game to Cavan and they went into a two-point lead. The Cavan lads didn't drop their heads and came back at the Donegal team in the last five minutes. Yeah, like you know that you know when you're playing a quality team in which Donegal are, you're well drilled, well rehearsed, playing the Donegal style of football. You have to be extremely patient. There will be stages where you're under the cosh, where, 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 where the end looks very dark. Uh, we, we have our players well drilled and versed in that, and, and again, this was they've experience over the last number of years. But you know, to their absolute credit, they did not give up. They're very fortunate, I suppose, and, you know, incredibly they scored a goal at the end. But you know, fantastically calm heads, then fatigued after 60 minutes of football, the fourth week of football, the championship football, and still they can finish like that. It's to their eternal credit. You're giving a lot of credit to the players, and, and, and it's well deserved. But the management have to come in for some credit as well. He's made some hard switches towards the end that changed the game. He's brought on a couple of players as well, fresh legs, and it opened up the Donegal defence for the first time in the whole game when we kind of got the goal. Yeah, again, Michael, we just have to have a look at it. Uh, the one thing we have always said, and we do honestly feel this, that this is the strongest panel we've had. We've had some fantastic panels. We honestly think that this is the strongest panel we've had. You know, there are 10 players who you, you, you have every week for you to tell them that they won't be talking out. You know, there's, there's another 10 that have come to mind that aren't even on the panel that I'm sure are, are kind of happy with working tonight. But it, it's, I suppose it's a reflection on what has developed over the last five years that we're now having trial matches where, you know, the competition and the standard of football is fantastic. Uh, you mentioned the fact that it's the fourth final that you have won in a row. It's only the second team ever to do it. How, how uh, important is that to Calvin football as well? Well, chatting to a couple of the wise heads over the last few days, it's all about keeping the momentum going, supplying for the senior team. It's great in its own right. Um, we'd be inclined to think at this stage that when you win for Ulster titles, it's, 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 at this level, it's fundamentally not enough. Uh, we've spoken all year about the fact that we're planning for a whole other Ireland series without being complacent, without being arrogant. Uh, we have to plan for it simply because it comes around every week. You don't plan for it to be left caught as we might potentially were the first time we got to another and final. But uh, I, going back to this panel, I honestly feel this, this is the strongest. It was proven to me when you see the person that come off the bench. Uh, they know what to do, they're, they're very comfortable on the ball, and we just have some pleasure to work with. Four in a row, the only other team to do that was Tyrone and the Nordics. Um, they went on, you know, we, we saw what they Up loud! Up loud, your honour! What, what, what does this mean? Is this a springboard for Calvin football? It'll be all about hard work. Uh, you, you can't really get a run, away, run away with things. If you look at Galway at the moment and the great success they're having, well, we've won one provincial ties, and I would argue that this is the hardest province to win. You know, Galway have been excellent, hugely impressive, and yet you can see how they're struggling at team level. So it doesn't matter how to do it. The one thing I would say is that the work ethic in among this group, the amateur the application is second to a man. You can see that by what Conor Moynihan spoke about out there. They're just... Yeah, they're a different breed, and, and, and I suppose the fact that we've won 
now for four years and we'd nearly say we should have won it five years ago as well without being selfish about it but um, it, 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 it certainly they're developing into panels that are very easier to manage not that the first panel was difficult to manage but they're self-motivating they're self-disciplining uh, it's, it's, it's remarkable Brilliant. Ron, we can hear the celebration starting in the dressing room, so I won't take up any more of your time. I'll just wish you the best of luck in the semi-final, and we just want to congratulate you on your fourth Ulster Under-21 title in a row. Thank you.